right there. So now we can drag these formulas down. Because these are relative. It's going down 11, 12, 13. This is going down from 4 to 5 to 6. So it's carrying it down. It doesn't have to lock over. <clears throat> you don't have to lock into these cells as we did for these. Okay, now, just like we did in the very first tutorial, or part one of this, is we're simply going to equal sum So now we know we are expecting for this project, for this company, throughout this season to earn one hundred and forty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. We can go here. That's the main, maybe the main number we're worried about. We can just kind of highlight that if that's what someone wanted to see. How much will I earn total? What the, what's the bottom line? The bottom line is you're going to earn one hundred and forty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars throughout. Uh, to this season. That's at least what we're expecting you to earn. Okay. So we have uh we have all of our numbers entered in there. And um now we can go ahead and maybe even make a graph, make a chart. So let's make a bar chart showing the months, the revenues per month. So uh that what we're going to do is we will just highlight months then highlight the revenues per month click insert we're going up here to column under charts we'll do a column chart I'm oh, sorry I had I had something highlighted there okay we're going to highlight the months hit control and highlight the revenues Click on column, and there we have a column chart. Okay, and uh, we can also change chart type. Go up here, click on different layouts, however you want the chart to be. So we'll do it like this. So we're going to change this title. Closing it. You can do it just in different ways of doing things, basically. Sorry. Undo. But I'm really having problems with my mic. And we can, uh, so we have this highlighted. And we can title this monthly revenues. And then we can right click here. Sorry. There we go. Right click. Select data. We want to maybe change it. Name. The same thing. Monthly revenues. Okay, and we can do another type of chart. Let's say we want to kind of segment um, kind of separate the different types of items that we're renting out. So we could uh, no, we, we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is let's say we want to make a pie. We already have our chart. For that. Let's say we want to make a pie graph just throughout the entire project what each item is going to earn kind of their contribution to the total revenues we just like I did there I highlight all the items and I highlight the revenues go to insert pi there and you can see The big earner in this was pontoon boats. Pretty close to jet skis. 
Now, uh, jet skis. You can double click on here and get different types. So there, we can have them labeled with percentages. Okay, and then you can, uh, like we did here, we'll just name this proportional income. And then, uh, you know, basically, you could uh, double click on this and you could give it different effects 3D let's say we want to do 3D now we're going to double click you got to double click sorry you have to double click on the actual chart here and just give it some 3D effect just mess with it you can see how it's changing down there I'll move this over and, uh, let's give it some height you can you can just kind of mess with it you know, you see, there's all sorts of different options. Make it glow, transparency. That's how transparent the, the glow is. Give it some shadows. See the shadow there? So you can do whatever you want to do. Just to make it pretty. And the same thing goes for this. Click on those bars. Give it a double click. Thumbs up. And give it some shadows. You can see there. You just play with it. The angle, what you want the shadow. And then again, 3D. And Excel is one of those things, I mean, I'm kind of just playing with it now. I'm pretty familiar with it, but you just play with it. You just use it. It's an extremely useful tool. Um, it can save you a lot of time. And it can make you a lot of money. It can also save you uh, financially, you know. Make budgets, which I have a tutorial on how to make a budget, which I have used before. I'm a finance major. Before I ever even thought about majoring in finance, I have been messing with Excel. But you can see here, I've just went over some pretty simple, basic uh, uses for Excel. And um, that concludes my tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to stay tuned to uh, our YouTube channel and make sure that you visit our website at www.subjectmoney.com. Um, we're going to have all sorts of different types of tutorials um, on on this on YouTube as well as on the website. Um, we'll actually have them printed out, places where you can download the Excel files. And um, there's a business dictionary and all sorts of other study tools um, that can be segmented um, by say classes. Say you're taking corporate finance, there will actually be a link where you can go and you can study specifically for that class. If you're taking business law. The same thing, uh, business statistics. So uh, just make sure you visit our site. The name is www.subjectmoney.com again. And thanks for watching.